Yo, what's up guys? In this quick tutorial, we will take a look at 5 super underrated motion graphic effects which are super simple and can make your projects look way more interesting or cooler. And yeah, hopefully there's something for you which you can apply for your own projects. And I'd say let's not talk too much and let's just go. So for the first underrated effect in my opinion, we have the CC, oh no, the, the grid effect which you can just find here under the point generate and apply on the upper layer and we already get a really cool grid and I think this is a super good basis for a good motion graphics background so we can already change the, the border for example to something a bit higher like this we can also change the opacity so bring it up or down just like this and I think yeah we already have a kind of cool looking background but I think the grid effect really gets interesting when we add a few other effects as well, like the hex tile effect for example. So we can just apply this and change the setting to fold seamlessly and then just play with the rotation. And yeah, as you can see, we already get a few interesting background patterns. Um, another cool effect on top of it would be the CC Collider effect, which is under stylized. And with this one you can also make super cool background patterns and you have basically endless settings and yeah, from this one you can just play around with it and hopefully something cool will come out of it. But yeah, this is for super simple but good looking backgrounds. Let's get to another effect and I just made a little composition for this one as well. And if we have any kind of shape layers which we animate like moving them around or whatever, they can look a bit boring and plain. And for this one, we can add the rough and edges effect, which is under stylized. And yeah, we can just select a layer, for example, and apply this one. And if you look closely, you can see now the edges are a bit more, yeah, a bit more rough, <laughs> like the effect says. And I think this is super cool for, yeah, motion graphics that should look like they are made by hand, if you know what I mean, like not super sharp edges, but yeah, just like this. And of course you can again just play around with a lot of settings in here. So if we increase the border, as you can see, this effect will be more strong. So yeah, just like this. And if you think the edges get too blurry, you can again just sharpen these a little bit. But yeah, you can also animate the evolution and as you can see, yeah, this looks a little bit more interesting and might be, yeah, quite, quite useful for a lot of projects. So, yeah, you can also play around with the scale and I think these look super cool. And of course, you can just Ctrl C this one and duplicate it with Ctrl V to the other shape layers. And yeah, I think this is just super interesting and can be useful in quite a lot of cases because again we have just so much settings and so much uh, opportunities in here but yeah this is up to you how you apply this effect and yeah let's go to the to the next effect and i already made a little preview and as you can see this one looks super cool and it's super simple so the only effect that we need for this one is the echo effect and yeah i can just disable it and now we can see we just have a, yeah, a rectangle with a stroke just moving back and forth and it looks a little bit boring but we can easily change that by playing the echo effect just like this and then change a few settings i'll just type in minus um, 0 .0 0.05 just like this and increase the number of echoes to something like seven or eight and as we can see yeah this looks interesting but it will look way better if we also change the decay to something like 0.5 and yeah now we have this super cool yeah i think it, it even looks a little bit 3d but yeah i think yeah we can make a lot of cool things with this one and yeah let's go to the next effect and yeah I already prepared another composition for the next one as well so yeah this one looks a little bit simple. We again have the um, the the same yeah, rectangle animation, but we added one important effect. So as you can see, just for example again, this is the normal one. It just moves around, and now we can um, now we just have one of these layer, and we have to duplicate this one with Control D, 
and then select the lower layer and apply the CC light burst effect which is under generate again and if we apply it we already can see we get this cool shine effect and yeah I think this already looks super yeah super interesting and we don't have that much settings in here but we can just try and play with these um, but I think this is awesome if you want this to give a little bit of shadow or light effect like of course we can we could also make this dark in, in contrast so it's it would be a shadow but I think yeah just like this this also looks super amazing I can imagine using this in any kind of window effect or whatever or window animation where there's just a light fall into a room or something but yeah this is super useful and yeah let's go to our last effect and already yeah just let's reuse the composition that we used before and this one is the Venetian blinds effect which is under transition and you can just apply it to any random layer and yeah for this one we can increase the transition completion just like this and also increase the whiteness for example to something like 50 or 60 and the angle something like 45 degrees and I think as you can see we can just give all these shapes a little bit more yeah more interesting shape by these yeah line effects so we can just yeah duplicate this and apply this on every layer and maybe change the rotation or the yeah or the size or something basically whatever you like and yeah just think this is yeah super useful because yeah it just looks cool and if we move these by pressing p you can see the effects moves yeah with the with the object and maybe sometimes we don't like that and for this we can just yeah pre-compose the layer and just press ok and now if we move it yeah the effect will stay in line and yeah that's already it with five underrated motion graphic effects and thanks for watching see you next time